tell us a little bit about yourself. Obviously, you're from Argentina, but tell us your story. Well, I I started to play when I was young, and then I I moved from my city to Buenos Aires uh, to the youth of Independiente. It's a club from Argentina. And then I was living there for like four years in Buenos Aires by myself and trying to get pro. I am British, but I do, I do, I class myself as half and half. Um, you know, obviously, yeah. I was born there, so I you know it's a place that's close to my heart, and it's, it's obviously, I was, you know, my family's from there. I've still got a lot of family over there, um, and some family from there live live close to my parents here. So um, yeah, I class myself as half and half. Um, Although I've spent them, you know, all of my adult life life in uh, in England, um, you know, I will never forget uh, Malawi or, or being born there or all that all that side of all that side of me. You've had plenty of first days at clubs before. What are first days like? <laughs> um, Quite strange, really. It's it's a bit you're a bit nervous because obviously um, you don't know what to expect. You don't know uh, what the guy's going to be like, um, what the session's going to be like, or what, what anything's like, like the ground or 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 you know anything at all. So it's just sort of stepping into the unknown. But you have to just kind of draw on your experience of, of having gone through it a few times before. Um, and not trying not to worry about it, not be too nervous, and, and just you know, at the end of the day, we're here to play football, um, and you know, enjoy it, um, and uh, you know, just go and play football, and, and, and you know, meet your teammates, which I'm, I'm very much looking forward to. Nice pitch looks decent. Yeah, not too bad. Very nice. It's it's a tight pitch. Yeah. It's yeah, small. Yeah. Great view. <laughs> yeah. Great view. Not that I'll be looking at that during the game. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, good, aren't you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I have you set up um, right over. Have you set up right over there by Yama? Um, Yama's right there on the right. You're in the middle, the middle locker right there. Stu, the club has made a couple of new signings. What are your overall impressions of Luciano and Tamika? Yeah, really excited. It's always good to bring new faces in. It just uh, freshens the whole place up, keeps everybody on the toes. It's almost like your first day back at school. You're excited. You're nervous. Uh, uh, going in, you're meeting new guys, and one thing I will say about our locker room, it's a, it's a good set of lads in there, and I'm sure they're, they're welcoming in with open arms. What is Luciano's skill set that you've seen? Is he a, a back-to-the-goal hold-up guy, or, or what, is, what is his strength? Yeah, exactly. Obviously, he, he's the one that we want to get hold of the ball and want to link and play around. His, his job, first and foremost, is to retain possession for us and allow the midfield to catch up with the strikers in the final third. Did you ever get the chance in England to play against Tamika? I did, I played against Tamika on numerous occasions, uh, so I, I know him pretty well uh, as a player, not as a, as a person, I never come across him uh, from a personal point of view, but from a player I played against him lots of times and I was always, always very impressed with what I saw. Back to goal, hold up the ball, and, and 
controlling the midfield? Yeah, normally that's that's the way I play. I, I try to keep the ball, give it back to the midfielders and get into the box to, to wait for a cross or for for an assistance. That's the way I play. You chose the number 35. Is there any significance to that? Have you worn the number before? Was that just the best number left? No, no. I chose it because when I moved to China, they gave me that number and, and I did okay and it, it, it was good. And there is a... There is a meaning, a Chinese meaning, that number 35 is the um, the warrior of light. They, and they used to call me warrior in, in my team, these, the fans of Tianxin Teda. So I keep it for that, for that reason.